The minority in parliament has served notice it will reject some four Supreme Court judge nominees put forward by President Tukufuado. According to Minority Chief Web Muntaka Mubarak, some of these four judges are known members of the governing NPP, hence their stance. He also argued that President Tukufuado's move to nominate over 14 judges of the Supreme Court could undermine justice delivery, adding he is the president to nominate the most Supreme Court judges. Need additional judges since the Fourth Republic, we have uh, no president has gone beyond 14 members on the bench. We checked and realized that we currently have 14 on the bench. It is not an easy thing to maintain a Supreme Court judge because remember they retire on their condition of service. Do we really need additional four judges? at a time of this difficult situation of our country financially? Do we need additional ministers that he's talking about? Can't he just shovel and put people there? You have Justice Onunga being his tenure being extended for six months. I mean, yes, if you look at Article 145, 145.4, it gives a judge an opportunity to, to, to make uh, his judgment within six months and then to complete some processes but not a judge to be listening to witnesses within this six months. Unless you are going to use the six months to rush that judge into delivering injustice. And if you look at what's happening, see him sitting as an additional high court, sitting as an appeal court, additional, uh, at appeal court judge, sitting as additional judge, uh, Supreme Court judge, sitting as additional in his own utterances, in his own court, it takes yeah. doubt on the minds of the ordinary citizen that there's any good intention behind this. Especially when that person has stood on the ticket of MPP, of a party. It becomes like you want to now even pack the court with a lot of partisan judges. And for me, when you do that, you now create our suspicion. You, uh, you, you, you heighten our suspicion that, oh, probably all the other three, in addition to this person, are being sent so that they can... They can Staying in Parliament, Minority Leader Harun Idrisu has expressed reservations about the increasing number of charges of the Supreme Court. According to him, John Mahama appointed only 28% of charges to the Supreme Court as president, but President Tukufuado has done a whopping 78%. In his opening remarks before the vetting, the Tamale South MP Harun Idrisu said too much appointment of apex court justices puts intense pressure on the public purse. Let's cross over to Parliament now. My colleague Jerry John O'Connor is there. Good afternoon to you, Jerry. What's happening in Parliament now? I am within Parliament and I must confirm that um, four justice uh, nominees of the Supreme Court are supposed to take their turn at the appointment committee. Uh, currently, Justice Barbara Frances Ankayesu um, is taking her turn and uh, a lot of questions are being put to her. She was asked to comment on the Supreme Court's judgment that um, birth certificate is not a proof of citizenship. Uh, that question was put to her by the minority leader, which was also asked by the first deputy speaker and the chairman of the appointment committee. Uh, she turned down the question and said she could not uh, comment on the judgment until she, was, uh, she is approved by parliament uh, because she is going to be a judge at the Supreme Court. So until she is approved by parliament, she will not be able to answer that question. So the question was also put, another question was also put to her uh, by the former deputy interior minister, James Agaga, who asked her whether he's worried about the, the fact that President Akufado is packing the court and the perception that uh, is packing the court for political reasons. And she said, the the courts can only be uh, judges can only be appointed to the courts if there is a vacancy. Now the issue of confidence in the judiciary uh, was put to her by another MP um, with specific reference to the Afrobarometer survey, which says that only 16 percent of the Ghanaian population trust the judiciary, and about um, 84 percent of the Ghanaian population does not have confidence in the judiciary. Uh, her answer was that he does not think that the 
findings from the Afrobarometer survey is accurate and that uh, a, more, a lot mm. more scientific ways of determining the confidence of the judiciary is needed. Mm. So those are the uh, interactions that is ongoing. Her view was also found on the capital punishment and whether or not uh, in, in the situation where her personal state, morality and conviction uh, is against the law, what will be her uh, judgment? And she said she will always want to refer to the law depending on the matter before her. So those are uh, uh, issues that have come up so far. Jerry, are, are the minority members there? Are they present at the meeting? Yes, minority is fully present. Right. Minority is fully present. Mm -hmm. Minority that himself is present at the mm -hmm. uh, vetting committee. The vetting is ongoing and I'm monitoring uh, whatever come up mm -hmm. with the viewers. Jerry, John O'Connor, thank you very much.